All right, welcome to Cupitech 1.3. And this little tutorial is covering the new water tower, which is the first multi-block structure for Cupitech. So the this is the core water tower block. And what it does is generates water over time, faster if it's raining. The main idea being to uh, have water for your generator so you don't have to manually fill it up for steam engines. Here, let's stick a container there. You can see it makes water portions, which is kind of odd, but eventually might make a pure fluid storage system. But for now, it's going to just output portions of water. And if we had the, the generator under there, it would be receiving plenty of water. You could probably run a couple generators off it. Anyways, how to build it? Well, first you need to construct your water tower core block just in the crafting window. And at the bottom here, this is what we're actually going to need to build it. So let's just grab some dirt blocks just to raise it up a bit. Uh, this is the main uh, water tower. It's hollow down the mid middle. And actually, whatever you build, you have to leave this spot, which is the water tower block, has to be exposed to the sky or it won't work. And these legs here are just ornamental. You could do whatever you want for the support. But anyways, let's get to building. Start with the core block. And you'll see, I just right clicked, it will show that there's missing blocks. Unfortunately, it doesn't really tell you what you need. So that's why I'm making this tutorial and hopefully I'll find some better ways to uh, let you know how that works. So let's start with just a ring of eight fences. So that's the first uh, block done. And now we need a ring of planks. Now I'm using ebony here, which you can actually use. You should be able to use any wooden plank. And then we're going to do a ring of copper blocks, which you could actually should be able to use any of the uh, available metal blocks. You could use iron or whatever. So I try to keep it so you can have it match uh, your builds at least somewhat. And let's get rid of these temporary blocks. So you notice I don't need these legs. It still says, oh, okay. Sometimes it'll tell you that it's done already, but if it shows that it's not complete, you could just right click here. I'll structure not complete. And if I right click that will force it to update. So if this is the completed block and that's really all there is to it, uh, you can put your container directly under it. You cannot put the uh, the generator directly under it. Uh, see, it's making water. I, I'll probably adjust how much water you get over time, but I might just leave it at a fairly high rate uh, because there's going to be bigger generators than your, your uh, the low voltage primitive generator. If you just want a little waterfall, you can just leave that there. It'll you just see it spit out water once in a while, which is kind of satisfying. So you could build multiple water towers, but that's about it. Uh, hopefully it's very useful for your builds, and thanks for watching.